A Dayton mother is sounding off after her three-year-old son is forgotten on a school bus. Good evening. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. She claims the driver abandoned the child and left him sitting alone for more than two hours. Alexa Ashwell has been investigating. She's live in Dayton with our top story at 11. Alexa. Mark, Michelle, three-year-old Kenneth Frost goes to Fairview Elementary School. We're told each morning he's picked up and dropped off at the school just before 11, but that wasn't the case this past Wednesday. He actually ended up here at Dayton Public School's main bus lot, where he sat inside the bus for more than two hours by himself. They left me. They left you? Yeah. Was you scared? Yeah. Was you crying? Yeah. Three-year-old Kenneth Frost had a hard day Wednesday, left behind on the school bus. It's a phone call his mom, Antoinette Frost, never imagined she would get. How do two adults leave a three-year-old on a school bus? The bus driver and aide forgot to drop Kenneth off at his school that morning. Once their route was finished, the two headed back to the main lot. Unaware, Kenneth was still strapped in his seat. They parked and got off leaving the three-year-old inside, who, according to his mother, has a severe heart and lung condition. It wasn't until one in the afternoon that another driver found the boy, frantic, covered in his own urine and feces. If it would have been too hot, my baby wouldn't have been here. If it was too cold, my baby wouldn't have been here. What if he had had an asthma attack or something went wrong with his lungs? There's nobody there to help him. Transportation officials say there is no excuse and immediately pulled both the driver and aide off bus duty. The drivers or the para, is, or bus aid we have, is required to walk the bus and to ensure that all students, trash, and debris have been removed from the bus. And it's obvious that didn't happen. And that process was not followed today. Frost is also holding Fairview Elementary responsible. She never received a phone call notifying her Kenneth was not in school a requirement according to Dayton public school officials. Now we're told Frost never received that call because of a technical glitch in the school's automated voice messaging system that is supposed to notify a parent when his or her child is not in school. Frost tells us she has removed her son from Fairview. As for the aide and bus driver, they have been placed on administrative leave until this investigation is complete. Reporting live in Dayton, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News on your side.